It's Adventure Tuesday! Let's go! What are we doing? What are you doing? We're doing frisbee golfing. First things first, we had to go to the rec center to get some frisbees to play golf with. I'm always ready. <laughs> this one's got a shark on it. It's fine. Josh, you're my shark going on your lava curve. That's weird. Actually, this is a red frisbee with a shark, so I can qualify as both shark boy and lava girl simultaneously. Frisbee golf, or frolf as the kids say, is essentially golf for poor people. Rather than looking posh, collected, and precise, you look generally confused, silly, and impoverished. I am convinced that no one is actually good at frolf. Anyone who claims to be obviously has enough free time and or money to be too rich to play it correctly. Frisbee golf is a godless sport. There are so few regulations and everything is so random and scattered that it is an absolute pain to try and film. The majority of the time is spent trying to locate either your frisbee or the next hole. What little enjoyment there is can be summed up by the jingling of the chains at the end of each hole. Boom. First try. I don't know, we haven't, I don't know how much thought you put into it. Wow, that worked. Son? Boy? Come on, son. It's some. I got it. I it's got some. it. I got it. It's some. I got it. I got it. I got it. In the end, it is sort of animalistic, barbaric even. You start to crave that sound so much that you spend countless hours hunched over the grassy slopes, searching for a neon-colored disc, as if your life depended on it. At the end of the day, you leave with nothing but that small disc and a craving for more. That and dehydration, possibly mild heat stroke, but mostly a craving for more.